welcome back to my shop. Uh, this is going to be part two of my uh, park bench. Uh, I've got the wood right here laid out and I'm going to start doing a little bit of sanding on it. But first I thought I'd do an unboxing of this uh, sander. It is a 4 inch by 36 inch belt and disc sander made by Central Machinery and of course it's Harbor Freight. Uh, I priced uh, several different ones in all the box stores and everything and they were quite a bit more expensive than the Harbor Freight one. This one had pretty decent reviews. Uh, they were wide and buried. Some people thought it was a piece of crap and other people think it was the best thing since sliced bread. But uh, just remember you get what you pay for. I had to looked at a video of one guy who actually took it apart and uh, was trying to tune it up and tweak it. <laughs> it was $79 for all the time it took him to take it all apart and tweak it and part with it. You could have you went down and just got a regular brand name. But uh, anyway, we're going to unbox it tonight and uh, see what's in the box and I'll put it together and we'll check it out. Uh, let me go get a knife. I'll be right back. I'm using my new camcorder instead of the uh, phone camera. And so I've been uh, trying to work on making some better quality video. Also, I was using the Windows uh, Movie Maker. And I downloaded a version of the Magix Video Pro uh, 2015, uh, and I like it. It's a, it's pretty intuitive, uh, a lot more simpler than uh, a lot of the other programs I tried, uh, and you can do a lot of things. So I'm hoping uh, between this uh, camcorder and the new software, I can make some real good videos. Anyway, I opened up the box. First thing is the uh, manual for it. Got a sanding disc with a, I guess it's a, to put the sanding disc on. Got the uh, miter gauge, I guess, for the tabletop. For the, the miter gauge actually uh, adds a table on the disc sander and you can adjust it to different angles up against the uh, sanding disc. Got a piece of styrofoam. Boy, I wish I was in the styrofoam business, I'll tell you what. All right. I guess that's also part of the uh, sanding disc uh, part. So it looks like there is going to be some assembly. Here's the table I was talking about. The miter slot, and then you've got your miter gauge that slides in there. Sort of like that. And let's see, we got uh, some more parts. So uh, looks like I'm gonna be stopping this video and putting it together. Uh, <clears throat> and some wrenches and uh, Allen wrench, I guess, for putting it together. All right. Plastic off it. And there she is. So, that's what I'm going to do. Turn it on this way so you can get a sec uh, this view of it. I'm assuming this tightens and releases the belt on top. This also flips up. Uh, there's a bolt that you loosen up. And then this, uh, the belt sander portion of it, well, tilt back and forth so you can use it in different positions. 
Well, let me go ahead and stop the video now. I'm not going to bore you with me putting it together. Uh, I'll restart the film when I get it done and uh, we'll bench test it and see how it works. Good morning. Uh, I'm back in the shop. I was going to put this uh, sander together last night and my wife said I had to come in and stop playing with my toys. So uh, yeah, I didn't get it together last night, but I got it together now. It wasn't hard. It took me about maybe 15-20 minutes. The instructions weren't all that great. Uh, some of the steps were missing actually in the instructions. The disc sander here had me putting this piece on first without the guard. Uh, there wasn't even a reference in the uh, instructions about the back guard here. So that was uh, one thing about the instructions that I didn't care for. And uh, the table, game went on real easy. It just uh, slides into a hole right here and you take a bolt and tightens it down. This wrench right here uh, does all the settings on it. So you want to hold on to this wrench. Uh, it, tightens and loosens the uh, belt sander uh, so you can set it at different angles. Also you can take this table off here there's a hole back here there's a hole right here where you can take this shaft insert it into this hole and you can use your table and miter gauge when your uh, belt sander is up all the way. So that's kind of a nice feature. You can interchange the table with either to the disc or the belt sander. Uh, it looks pretty well built. These little rubber footings on here I thought were kind of chintzy but uh, they seem to be okay. It's got a few plastic parts on it but uh, $79 uh, you're not going to get a DeWalt. So, uh, And I'm sure DeWalt has plastic on theirs too. So. <laughs> Anyway, let's fire it up and uh, see what it sounds like. It should be working just fine. Got plenty of power there. Not doesn't seem to be affecting the motor. So uh, we'll grab a piece of wood and do a little sanding, maybe up on top here. I'm going to change before I do my park bench, though. So wood. Uh, I'm going to change off this belt because this belt is 80 grit. The disking is 80 grit also. And I want 120 on the top. Uh, so when I start sanding, I don't want to sand too much of that wood off or mark it up too bad. So I'm going to change this and put a finer uh, grit sandpaper on it. Uh, bought some extra ones at Harbor Freight when I picked the, the machine up. I uh, got them in the somewhere. And uh, the instructions give uh, the instructions on how to change this belt, but there's no illustrations. It just says remove screw A and B and replace and remove plate A to remove plate B. And but there's no illustrations or pictures showing what it's talking about. So uh, probably going to have to just kind of figure out on my own. But that's, that's no big deal. Uh, like I said, usually central, uh, central machinery is uh, not very good with the directions. I guess uh, it costs a lot to make those booklets and uh, so they try to do it as cheap as they can. But anyway, that's my uh, sander and uh, I'll do a little demoing with it once I get this uh, belt shaved, I mean belt changed. And uh, I'll get some of my uh, park bench wood, and uh, I've got the small pieces I need to do. And uh, we'll put it up on the top and uh, demo it a little bit for you. So I'll be back. Good evening, YouTube. Um, back in the shop, and uh, I've been working with the belt sander a little bit today, uh, doing some of the pieces for my bench. Uh, they came out pretty good and as promised I'm going to demo the sander a little bit but before we do 
There were a couple of things I did to it. I know uh, last time I said uh, I was poking fun of a guy that decided to take it all apart and try and tweak it. But uh, I did a couple of little things, but not, I didn't go quite as far as that guy in the other video did. For one thing, I made a little place to put the wrench so I can keep the wrench on board and I don't have to worry about losing it. I just made like a little hook type thing here where it slides down and it'll keep the wrench where I can find it. The other thing I did is this plastic piece on the back of the disc sander uh, was sticking out too far and when I took put the wood on the disc and slid it this way the corner of the wood would hit this little piece of plastic right here. Uh, it, was, it was sticking out too far. So what I did is I took it back apart, took the uh, disc off it and then stuck a washer behind the sh on the shaft uh, where the disc slides onto which brought it back out about a sixteenth of an inch which is just perfect now and I'm not going to be hitting that plastic anymore. So those are the two tweaks uh, that I did to it. Like I said, what did, I did have to take it all apart like that other guy did. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I got my iron pan uh, I had a little bit of a problem with the black paint uh, clogging up that spray gun. The primer went on real easy. I may have had that primer thin and didn't have any problem. This black, I believe, I probably had a little too thick and it kept clogging up the gun. As long as I was using the gun, it was fine, but if I stopped for 15, 20 minutes to let the paint dry to put on a second coat, then it would clog up and I would have to end up taking the paint out and cleaning the gun out and get unclogging it and doing it again. So I had a little bit of problem. I don't think it was the gun's fault. I think I probably had the paint too thick or it was just the type of paint I was using. I'm not sure which. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of touch up on it probably with a brush or I'll just get some glossy black uh, spray paint in a can and uh, touch up a few spots on it yet. Uh, but I think it came out pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with it. The reason I bought this disc sander uh, was because all these little pieces that go on the back of the bench, they're like inlays, wood inlays that go uh, in the metal of the bench. When I get it all together I'll, uh, and shoot the last part of this video, uh, you'll see where they go. But anyway, I have a small vibrator sander and I thought it would be awkward to try and hold it in my hand and sand it at the same time without sanding my fingers too. <laughs> uh, so that's one reason I wanted the belt sander. Uh, it would be easier to do these smaller pieces. The longer pieces that are the slats for the bench, uh, I can do maybe the first 15-16 inches off the edge of it, but after that uh, it's not really meant for a big long piece like this. So I'm going to have to do that with the little uh, vibrator sander. But let's turn the uh, belt sander on. I'm going to sand down a piece a little bit so you kind of, kind of see how it works. I put a, a 120 grit sandpaper on the belt. The disc is still 80 grit. And uh, I used it a little bit today and uh, it worked pretty good. I was pretty happy with it. So let's turn it on and uh, demo it for you. As you see, it's still pretty good. One thing I noticed on this wood. Uh, some of the pieces have a cup in it, and I'll either uh, have uh, old paint on the edges or I'll have the paint down the middle. So what I've been doing is taking it and just wobbling it a little bit back and forth to make sure I get the, the full width of the wood.
close-up of this, but you can see where the wood dips in right here and right up here. This is sanded down pretty good right through here, but uh, the wood, I guess, is not perfectly flat. So uh, that's where that wildling comes in. some kind of weather sealer on the wood and then I'll put it back together. Uh, once you get it back together I'm going to just shoot some video so you can see the finished product and uh, we'll be done with this video and uh, when I'm done with this I've got some other projects to do and uh, I'll start taping uh, something new. I uh, appreciate you watching my video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I don't have Facebook or anything like that uh, between trying to run my business, uh, dump truck service, and keeping the house down and uh, doing everything around here. I don't have time to get on the computer a lot to, to do social, uh, social websites. But anyway, please leave me a comment. Uh, give me some suggestions, uh, criticisms, or just tell me what to think. I'd really appreciate a little bit of feedback. And I'm going to continue making these. Uh, I'm getting a few hits. I had one video today hit 100 views. <laughs> so I'm real happy about that. Uh, people seem to be liking my uh, Harbor Freight uh, reviews. But uh, anyway, I'll be back uh, when I get this park bench together and we'll take a look at the finished product. <laughs>